Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and we left off in um, St. Croix Forest. And we are now heading to the survival grounds the thing out of the forest anyways. Analyst, I think that that's the exit. Woo, finally, I thought we'd never get out. Oh, dearie me. I take my eyes off you for one second and you run away. Such naughty, naughty children. Ah. Hmm. Welcome to my hunting grounds, kittens. A woman? Estelle, watch out! Whoever she is, she's good! Oh, sharp enough to pick up on that, are we? Not only that, but you're already back on your feet after getting a face full of gas. That's slightly impressive. That's a bracer for you, I suppose. Pointless tough, if nothing else. Pointlessly tough, if nothing else. Hey, whoever you are, what's going on here? Why are you attacking the training grounds? What did you ever? What did we ever do to you? Oh, kitten, you're assuming I need to answer questions. Now you have two are, you have two choices, surrender quietly or we have a little hunting party. Damn it. Can we hope to fight her off as we are? Fight now. Analyst, right behind you. Oh, yes, kittens, that's right. Come closer now. Let's put an end to our little hunt. I should have healed up for shouldn't I have? Oh yes. Alright, we're gonna actually heal up analysts. Good start. And then we are going to clock up. Right now I'm just bouncing back and forth because that boss music is good. Oh, oh okay, that did not attack both of us, which is nice. Um, we're gonna have a hard time using any techniques. So, first start out with a bit of arts and start out with a bit of dark matter. Let's see what that, what that does to her. So, blur. 400. Pretty straightforward. Dark Matter does 750. Eh. Considering the fact that that is one of the that that costs four times what the other spells cost, not worth, not worth casting at all. You're my healer now. Shock Spider. How about this? She cast Impede. Oh, that's annoying. What Impede is, it um, it stops your arts uh, casts, which is slightly annoying. Okay, I'll admit that it is slightly annoying, but it's not the worst. I mean, we didn't spend those EP yet, right? Flare Arrow does 600. That's worth casting, considering the other one does. So it does 150% uh, for double the cost. But I can afford double the cost two more times. Oh. Gonna have to cast tier, Tiara on yourself. Then I'm actually... Can I? No. Comet would work. Heartbreak would not work. Morale. Strength plus. Item. Surprise cookie. That's not yet happening. First off, I'm gonna start with a flare arrow. Luckily, she can't get the... Uh, she doesn't have the opportunity to cast uh, impede. 
Are you wearing underwear? What? What? Can you tell me why she is... She's got breaches... What would you call those? Um, breaches. I guess she's la uh, she's protecting her lower legs. She's pr protecting her torso. But why is she... And she also wears a helmet. You are not e able to see any part of her face. But I'm pretty sure f from Estelle's perspective, you would be able to see her belly button pretty clearly and everything below that. Okay, she is wearing underwear because I can clearly see her wearing underwear. Which is also not exactly where you want to be when wearing underwear, you know? Oh well. Let's not think about it too hard. Okay. She's obviously a ranged attacker. I wonder how she does uh, deals with close combat. Craft chain, chain up, and both of them work. Um, yeah, let's do one of those. Let's go! Okay! She didn't like that. Oh! Retreat! Retreat! Tactical retreat! Now oh, it hurts! Oh! Why does she... Why is she able to do that two times? Actually, no arts. You're using tear bomb. That makes them also run toward each other. Other Thing to note. So you can move and use an item in the uh, on the same turn. Like that. That is something I'll have to consider. Sadly, there's no Zepeth rounds on boss fights anymore, evidently. Experience, yes. And a bunch of Zepeth. Oh, seems I underestimated you a little. That'll teach you to look down on bra that'll teach you to look down on bracers. Your first mistake was assuming we're just a pair of clueless little girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so spirited and fiery now. We'll have to do something about that. This this again. Estelle, hold your breath! Oh kittens, you realize we've captured the tactician already, yes? You're all alone, alone here now. Just give up and surrender. It'll be easier. She got away. We probably shouldn't chase her, right, Annalise? Yeah, bad idea. It's way too obvious a trap. Hey, Estelle. She said, we've captured the tactician, didn't she? Oh... Yeah, she was probably talking about Kurt. Yeah, she had to be. Please, no. Hey, don't worry. Even if he was caught, this is Kurt we're talking about. He'll be fine. Besides, this is the sort of thing we've been training for. You really think so? Hmm, emergency de decision making, survival techniques, counterterrorism skills. Yeah, you're right. We'll put what we've learned to use and save Kurt. That's the analyst I know. Hey, how about we return to the lodge real quick? We should check to see if the enemies occupied it for starters. Yeah, good point. Off we go then. She does not want to check if the the the, um, the guild has been occupied. I can tell you that. That's okay. She wants to get those those zepeth going. Do 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 do. Well, from the outside, it looks like nobody's here. Yeah, should be safe to nose around it. There may, might be traps or something, though, so let's be careful. Got it. Traps? No traps. Oh. Oh. That spear looks a lot like, um, Kurt's. Oh, well, let's have a look around, yeah. There might be uh, clues or something. Right. 
The broken spear is lying on the ground and it appears to belong to Kurt. Have you seen that puddle of blood? The floor is stained with blood. Is this Kurt's? I... I, uh... I think so. But I mean, there isn't a lot, so his injuries probably aren't fatal, yeah. The window is broken and shards of glass lie on the floor. This is the window that Jaeger leapt through last night, right? Yeah. He was real skilled. You could tell from the way he handled himself. There are bits of paper left behind, in, uh, uh, behind, indicating something was torn away from the board. Hey, wasn't there a map pinned up on here? Yeah, just like the one we have. If they have that, then that means... The barrels of foodstuffs are empty. The enemy took our food too? Yeah, they're the only ones who would've, would have, who would have, I think. And I don't see, see Phyllis anywhere. No blood, thank ideas. I wonder what happened. The orbital telephone has been smashed to pieces. Dang, and no surprise from pro-mercenaries, I guess. No way they wouldn't cut all the obvious means of communication. Yeah, they don't want us calling for any reinforcements. Damn, that's going to make this even harder. Okay, so we've given the lodge a once-over. It looks like the second floor is completely untouched. They only roughed up the first floor. Yeah, I get the feeling they, there might be a reason for that. And now that we know that, I think I have an idea about what the enemy is doing. You do? Some of it still doesn't quite make sense, but a few of the pieces are coming together, I think. Think about it. We've seen what's in the lodge, and there's that tent in the forest. If we put together the clues we found in those two places... Ah, I think I get it. What did the foe do? They ret retreated from a lay local. They sealed the canyon entrance. They moved to a new base. I think they moved to a new base. That Why would they have taken the map if they were just... I think they've moved to a new base, preferably the, the fourth location on the map. Exactamundo! Glad we're on the same page still! The tent was probably a staging point for, uh, for attacking the lodge, which means it was abandoned because they've moved somewhere else. Considering it was a pretty p uh, small tent, we're probably only facing two enemies here. Oh, I get it, but they are obviously not using a lodge as a ba base either. Hmm. Well, they probably realize that it's hard to defend the lodge. If the guild ends up sending reinforcements, they are going to need a defensible position where they can keep the hostages. So they must have taken a position somewhere in Le Local that they think they can defend easily. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So the only place like that around here would be... You too! Oh! Robert! Hey, you're safe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Last night Kurt gave me a chance to get away. I've been hiding here ever since then. Oh, okay. We're still glad, really glad you're safe. Forgive me, I ran away and abandoned everyone. I'm a pathetic excuse for a man, I know. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. These are Jaegers after all. Yeah, she's right. If anything, we're lucky they have one less hostage. I see. Thank you, girls. You, uh, do, so, do you two have any idea where Kurt, Kurt and Phyllis are? You mentioned hostages. Well, Estelle and Anos relayed, uh, relayed their theory that the enemy had taken the two as hostages and moved to a new base. I get it, a base that that would be easy to defend. Grimsel Fortress then has to be. Grimsel what? There's a fortress in the canyon? Well, call it a fortress, but it isn't really one. It's a new training ground we built recently, based on modern military facilities. The idea is to train bracers in counter-terror operations and in hijacked military bas bases, that sort of thing. I never realized there was a place like that in the canyon. 
It is on the map though, and this is like the perfect counter-terrorist training ground possible in this circumstance. Analyst? Yeah, let's do it! Hey, you two aren't thinking of taking the fight to them all by ourselves, are you? You need to at least call the guild for backup, or... They smashed the phone to bits, Robert. They smashed my phone, those! Um, Robert, calm down, please. Can you try to fix the phone? If you can get it working, contact the guild as soon as you can. Let them know what's happened. Okay. Have you ever tried to um, repair an oral phone, though? That stuff is complicated. You do it, okay? If you need me to tune up your orbits, just stop by the workshop. Good luck, girls. I will, I'll be praying for you. Do we really need praying for? Uh-oh. Okay, let's go, Estelle. Time to make a two-girl assault on Grimsel Fortress. Sounds like the best idea I've had ever since this morning. Let's do it. Upgrade. Um, trade? Ah. Trade Zepith. For this, I can just... Oh, my God. I'm not doing that. Okay. Trade one Mirage Zepith. Zepith. What's it worth? 40 Mira. Okay. Not doing that. So, slot on Estelle. Um, this is upgradable. What can we upgrade? Of course, I want to finish up with this line first. This is all upgradable. Upgrade to slot 2. Upgrade to slot 3. And that's not upgradable yet. Alright, and Analyst, can I upgrade anything here? No. I have... I have uh, put too much money into Estelle then. But I'm fine with that because I like putting all my eggs in one basket. Especially if that is the only basket I'll be playing through the entire game. Calf, calf. Um, so this is a... So I have three upgraded slots. Now that should have significantly raised the amount of EP I have. <clears throat> also, is there a bed to sleep in? Because I would like a bed to sleep in. Oh, this bed, yes. It's a rest. I wonder if that one room is still locked. Or did they break it open? Can we take a teddy bear with us? Oh, man. It's Kurt's room. Found Gambler Jack Volume 1. Okay. What is that all about? Probably for an achievement. That's going to be the only book I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting. But let's see. <clears throat> Chapter 1. The Girl. The Calvert Republic. There's a city in this country, a place where migra migrants, migrants from the east have recreated their homeland down to the bright Laker titles, tiles. Nicknamed the Eastern Quarter, it's a vibrant place. Bustling, ho bustling hot. Bustling and hot. Orbal buses trundle down the main street, lined with stands of fragrant eastern cooking as the welcoming cries of zeller sellers rise and fall over the crowd of travelers from every nation. The place where the cultures of east and west meet. Yes, it was a place that wore that mantle well. On the north outskirts of that town was a little run-down bar. Doubtless it had been fashionable once, but now the plaster was crumbling and what doors were left barely fit their pinned frames. Of course, such a seedy place attracted a clientele to match. To the lawless and violent, it was home. Heh, <laughs> sorry, looks like my win again said a low voice that echoed through the grimy room. The voice belonged to Jack. He was of medium size and his early thir in, in his early thirties. A man in his prime. The frayed shirt he wore had seen better days, but the accessories adorning his body were of obvious worth. None of them were right for a man like him. Just like the blue glint in his eyes, compared to the dirty, poor and desperate thugs around him, he looked out of place. Jack was always to be found at that bar, gambling or sharing around with, with the dregs of the town, sometimes fighting, sometimes drinking. He passed his days in, uh, in idle recreation. As usual, today found, uh, as usual, today found him hunched at the bar. He'd, be, he'd been deep in his cups since early noon. It was the same as always, another day just like another just like any other was stretching out before him. 
and into that familiar scene cut the shriek of the door opening. A new customer stepped into that same old bar. But who was this new arrival? It was a girl, unlike any other he had seen before. Volume 1 of a mainstream fiction novel published in Liberal. A mainstream novel. Aha, uh -huh. um, the girl. Do you have new ornaments to sell? Or quartz, I mean. No, just EP cut. I don't want EP cut. Um, we slept. I've done about all the things I wanted to do. So we're gonna head right where we need to. Right here. And this is where I'm gonna end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I will see... Uh, what? Oh. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye.